third largest steel producing country in the world and is poised to make a quantum jump to secure the second spot by 2025. Indian steel production has a fair share from both the primary sector as well as from secondary sector. In fact the secondary sector contributes approximately 53% of the country's steel production and induction furnace route averages around 34%. Approximately 90% of the steel producer through induction furnace is converted as long products and consumed in structural applications. Depend upon the application of structural steel demands the strict control over several elements like carbon, silicon, manganese, phosphorus, sulfur and minor alloying element. However, this class of steel affects very little flexibility on the element phosphorus. Phosphorus content should not exceed 0.03% for seismic and heavy duty structure to 0.06% for general purpose construction. During post staging of steel, phosphorus has a tendency to migrate to the grain boundary causing severe loss in strength and increase in ductile brittle transition temperature. As a thumb rule, every 0.01% increase in phosphorus, the ductile brittle transition temperature increases by approximate sinking of Titanic, on collision with iceberg is believed to be by failure of joint manufactured from high phosphorus steel. Removal of phosphorus during refining demands slag with high basicity, high oxidation potential, low melting point and appropriate viscosity. High phosphate capacity. Maintaining slag of the above characteristics is very difficult in induction furnace because furnace is generally lined with acid materials. Lining thickness being low, refractory erosion beyond limit damage the furnace coil and cooling circuit. Little scope for refining due to limited slag metal interfacial area for reaction. Removal of phosphorus in induction furnace steel making is a challenging job. External dephosphorization in ladle refining furnace LRF, involves addition cost of installation and maintenance. Ministry of Steel, Government of India has taken a serious note in this non-compliance and had entrusted Xuren M. L. Jamshtpur to find a solution to this nationally important problem. R. K. Mindya Senior Principal Scientist and his team members from Xuren M. L. Jamshtpur had taken challenge to reduce the phosphorus content of steel in induction furnace. The scientist has developed the lining friendly flux and operation protocol. A laboratory scale 20 kg air induction furnace was employed for development of the flux and testing its overall suitability. In order to simulate industrial practice, almost 80% sponge iron was used as the feed material. The slag generated by melting of the ferruginous raw material was removed prior to any refining treatment. A variety flux combinations were tried so as to form a refining slag with suitable property. Required quantity of flux was added in batches and multiple dislarging was employed to avoid phosphorus reversal. Through a series of trials, a suitable combination of flux material and operation conditions were identified which could successfully bring down the phosphorus from 0.08-0.13% to 0.03% to 0.05%. No technology development effort is completed without larger scale testing. The findings of the laboratory scale trials were verified in commercial induction furnaces of up to 8 ton capacity. Cast iron and sponge iron in desired proportion was completely melted and the slag thus generated was skimmed out manually to expose the liquid metal. Opening phosphorus was determined by analyzing sample in optical emission spectroscopy. Calculated amount of flux was added to the bath in batches and slag was removed after allowing the flux to react for a predefined time. It was established that approximately 1.2 to 2.0 percent of prefused flux could bring down the bath phosphorus from 0.08 to 0.12 percent to below 0.05 percent within 15 minutes of refining time. The current effort to remove phosphorus in induction furnace steel making has successfully addressed a long-standing issue in the secondary steel sector. 
the end users have shown overwhelming response and appreciation towards the current development. This development has offered them the much needed mean to produce quality steel on affordable cost and thus complete with the primary sector steel producer.